Bill T1 Wireless Earbuds has a streamlined design, weight balance to stay in ears comfortably and securely. 6D stereo sound offer a superb music experience. Lossless HD rendering technology produce incredible sound quality with crystal crisp treble. It has the latest stability and fast auto pairing with Bluetooth 5.0. Just take out the earbuds and they automatically connect within 100 feet. Thanks to the water protection, the Bluetooth earbuds are resistant to sweat, water and rain. Perfect for outdoor sports, hiking, jogging, cycling, yoga, gym, traveling. Phil, your music choice. Hey everyone, Parker with Digital Trends here. I have been reading your YouTube comments and you want us to compare the Beats Power Beats Pro with the brand new Sony WF-1000X Mark III. Apparently the AirPods comparison just is not enough. And that makes sense because both of these headphones are very similar in many ways. So let's check out the similarities and differences and decide which pair is better for you. All right, so let's talk about design and let's start with the charging cases. Both of these headphones feature rather chunky charging cases. The Beats Powerbeats Pro come in the larger of the two. It's sort of a clamshell design, and that's because it needs to fit these over-ear headphones. The Sony WF-1000X Mark III, see how fast I did that, come in a sort of treasure chest case with this nice copper accent on top. Again, it is a little bit large, but it'll still fit in your pocket, which is something I can't quite say about the Beats Power Beats Pro case. And it's large because these headphones are a little large themselves. They have a kind of peanut shaped outer section and a nice rounded intersection that fits really well in your ears. Speaking of fit, both of these headphones are extremely comfortable and they're both designed explicitly to be very comfortable. That's because both of these headphones come with many different kinds of ear tips. The Sony come with six different ear tips. Right now we have on this sort of foamy silicone ear tip. They also come with a thinner version. Both of them come in three different sizes. And the Beats Power Beats Pro come with these sort of double layered ear tips that really do well to seal out the outside world. So in terms of controls, both of these headphones are fairly similar in what they do, although the Sony headphones employ touch controls where the Beats employ physical buttons. We're fans of physical buttons because it means that if you're in the gym and getting sweaty, you're not gonna accidentally tap or adjust your headphone and play and pause your music or change songs. So we'll give the Beats the upper hand there. The other thing we like better about the Beats headphones is that they have this really nice volume rocker so you can go up or down where the Sony headphones don't have any onboard volume controls at all. And this is where we really get into the main difference between these two pairs of headphones. So these are both premium true wireless headphones. They both retail for between $230 and $250, but they're meant for very different people. The Beats Power Beats Pro are really designed for people who are trying to work out, who are looking for something that's never gonna fall out of their ears and that they never have to worry about at the gym. They have an IPX4 rating, they have this hook design that's really made to keep them secure in your ears, and the fact that they didn't use touch controls, which is something that the AirPods, for example, use, means that they're really worried about people being able to play with their headphones and adjust things while they're on the go. The Sony WF-1000X Mark III are really designed for business class people. They're designed for people that want noise canceling, which is something these headphones have, and they're designed for people who really want to get great fidelity out of their music. These have Sony's DC HX upscaling engine, which means you'll get awesome, awesome quality audio always. And they don't have an IPX rating, which means they'll be okay maybe at the gym, but that's at your own risk. And that's sort of by design. They're not really made for people who are looking to work out in headphones. They're made for people who want really convenient, awesome sound and great noise canceling on the go. So let's talk about the sound quality differences between these two headphones. We actually really like the way both of these headphones sound, but they are very different. So people who are familiar with the Beats brand probably know them as sort of big, bassy, bold headphones. And these fit sort of in that vein. 
They have a lot of bass, but the bass is actually very detailed on these headphones, and they have great mid-range and high-end detail as well. So that means that you're gonna be able to enjoy everything from jazz to your favorite hip-hop playlist on these headphones. The Sony headphones, well, they're a little bit flatter. They have what we would describe as sort of an audiophile style sound signature. So what do we mean by that? There's a little bit of a boost in the low end, a little bit of a scoop in the mid-range, and a little bit of a boost up high, but in general, they're made to sound very flat. They're made to represent what's coming into them with a very sort of even sound signature. One thing we like about these headphones, though, is that you can slot through different equalization settings in Sony's Connect app. And that means that you can add some bass for your favorite hip hop, or you can add some high mid range if you want some sizzle in the symbol of your favorite jazz recordings. And that's pretty cool. But even in the flat mode, they just sound fantastic. And speaking of sound, the noise canceling on the WF-1000X, something that's not offered on the Powerbeats Pro, is absolutely fantastic. They use two microphones on each headphone to make sure that they're blocking out an incredible amount of outside sound. These are some of the best headphones we've ever tested that are in-ears for noise canceling. And, you know, it makes sense. The bigger WH-1000X from Sony have been our favorite headphones overall, and certainly our favorite noise canceling headphones for over a year and their predecessors before them as well. So it makes sense that Sony would be able to shrink down that technology and put it in these and make listening to your favorite tunes on the go amazing. Oh, and I almost forgot, let's talk about battery life. And the reason that I've left this for last is because luckily with both of these pairs of headphones, it's not a concern at all. You get 24 hours of total listening time, no matter which headphone you choose. The Beats Power Beats Pro have nine hours of battery life. The Sony WF-1000X Mark III have six hours of battery life with noise canceling on, but eight hours of battery life with it off. You probably won't be leaving it on all the time, depending on where you are, but you know, excellent battery life from both these headphones and really nothing to worry about there. So which ones would I choose? I gotta be honest, it just depends on what I was doing. If I was working out, I would definitely choose the headphones that are sort of designed for that aspect. Also, if I was an iOS user, these have Apple's H1 chip, which means it pairs super well. They're super easy to use with iOS devices. That said, the WF-1000X Mark III are just a fantastic pair of headphones, and they're sort of a niche product in this space in that they're the only ones we can think of from a brand that matters that have good noise canceling. So if you're a traveler, if you're a business person, if you're just tired of your office mates, these are a great pair of headphones for daily listening.
listen? Can you hear me? More important, can you hear it? The rhythm. It's soft and silent. A rough and racy! Oh, crazy. Listen. Ba boom, ba boom. Can you feel it? It's the rhythm of Baldner. It takes you to new heights. It's beating in everyone, it's beating in you. No doubt. I am you. I am the rhythm of boldness. I am your inner voice. And I push those who listen. They, they did listen. And their rhythm created this. The future of audio. Do you hear me?